respected. I respect it. My last, uh, last question. Wilder, Joshua Fury, rank those for me. When the dust settles, who, who, who ends up on top of those? You know, um, first of all, I have to say all three of them are very charismatic, um, which is like when you look at the Klitschko's, which ruled the heavyweight division for a decade, they were not very charismatic. And it sort of like killed a bit the heavyweight division. Now the heavyweight division is back. I think the charisma, the skills of these three have a lot to do with it. I think that uh, Wilder, from a charisma point of view, is a league of his own. I believe that Yonte Wilder today, based on skills, based on personality and charisma, is a league of his own in the entire sport. I think he is today, pound for pound, the most promotable fighter in the world. And uh, I think uh, the key is going to be in his next fights to make him as widely available to the general public because I believe the general public in America will fall, those who haven't yet, will fall in love with Deontay Wilder because he can, he's one of those guys who talk to talk and walk to walk. Man, he's a big puncher, he's devastating, he's exciting, uh, he's a great talker, so all of that I think is, um, is, is in my opinion, makes Deontay Wilder a league of his own. I think uh, Joshua is a great fighter as well. Uh, his accomplishments speak for themselves. I do think that uh, when you look at where, where Joshua was a year ago, I think uh, he has fallen off a bit of the throne, um, so to speak, and I don't think his stock is as high as it was. Um, and then, you know, with, with, with Fury, he's a very charismatic guy, he's a very imposing heavyweight, but let's face it, it's not the most attractive style to watch. So uh, that's why when you look at these three, I think uh, it's pretty clear that Yonke Wilder is not the one. Right, appreciate your time, brother, as always. No good to see you, man. See you, man. You, man. Thank you. Hey, Robert, I got another question. Um, hinging off the students' questions about the three major platforms having top boxers, uh -huh. does... You mentioned that a big fight will get these guys to kind of work together. Do you foresee something where they kind of partner together to create a one boxing conglomerate? No, I don't think I don't see that. I what I see is um, uh, that both that the pay per view will be distributed instead of just through one through both entities, where you basically have let's say let's say a Wilder Fury fight uh, that you have a um, a, uh, a joint pay per view where both parties ESPN and Fox, the Fox and ESPN would be distributing the pay per view and. Uh, would be marketing their pay-per-view through yes, their so. respective channels. So now imagine what the results could be mm. if you have actually both involved right. marketing the marketing. That's what I see. But I think okay. for that to happen, we need to talk about fights which can generate a few million, million homes. Million dollars, yeah. And so a few million homes, not dollars, uh, yes, uh, in pay-per-view pay, pay homes. So, you know, I don't think we're there yet. So I think eventually that might that might happen. What? And with the, with the Wilder... Uh, with the Wilder uh, Joshua fight, it's a bit more tricky because because um, uh, Joshua, I think, is somehow tied in. I don't really know with the zone, uh, right, right, right. with the zone, and they don't do pay per view, so we'll have to see how how a fight like that could happen. could happen. What what fight do you see on the horizon that would bring everybody together? The Fox, the ESPN, um, the zone. What what fight? Well, it probably would, would have to be. It probably would have to be a heavyweight fight because I don't really see any other one right now. I mean, I could see potentially uh, down the road maybe a, a, a let's say if Garcia or Spence, whoever wins, fighting uh, uh, fighting a Crawford. Uh, you know, Crawford with you guys? With ESPN. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, or or a Mikey Garcia Lomachenko fight. So I could see sort of like those kind of fights, but again, they're not really yet as big as they could be or should be. And the fact is that um, uh, the winner of this fight, Mikey and Spence, they have so many other options within the PBC universe. I mean, the PBC universe has so many welterweights. There is Sean Porter fighting this weekend. There is Danny Garcia. Uh, you know, there is uh, there's other younger guys coming up as well. Uh, so there's a lot of fights which can be made in house, sort of like in house. Got gotcha. you. Uh, and again, I think you're only gonna start seeing this breaking out of in house when uh, super fights. when super fights are on the horizon. And I think right now. 
now I don't really see because you know there are other options other fights out there where you don't really need to go outside and I think once these other fights are exhausted these other options are exhausted and you need to go outside that's when you're gonna go and see going outside but um, you know you look at like ESPN or, or a top rank or the song they're a little bit in a different position because they don't have the depth of the stable like PPC has I mean PPC you look at the top 10 you look at the top 10 welterweights probably eight of them are with PPC so you really don't need you really don't they don't really need to go outside it's a little bit it makes the other the other platforms maybe a bit more desperate I don't know if desperate is the right word but they make they're a little bit more forced to look outside because they don't have the, the options inside. that's when they call you so, that's, you that's when they call you right so <laughs> Thanks for your right, time, no Robert. Problem. Thank right. you.